Hey guys, it's Ricky for We Do Tech HD, and I'm gonna show you guys a similar thing that I did in my Adobe After Effects video, but I'm gonna do it a little differently because this time I'm doing a little commentary instead of, instead of you know doing it while I'm there because this requires two hands. Okay, first thing you do is you open Photoshop. Okay, so what we have to do first is open the picture. And the special picture that I'm going to put in is of an eye. And so the first thing you do with the eye is you make a duplicate of it. So you basically copy it and paste it, make another one of it. And you press OK. And so what you do with that one is you click the first one, the top one. And you go to Select All. And you go to Image, Adjustments, and then Desaturate. So now it looks all gray and stuff. And so this is the first way to do it, the first method. So you need to have the erase tool, and it needs to be black and white, white background. And you start erasing the eye. Ooh. All right, so it's turning the color that it was before. Yes, it's erasing it so that the background it shows up in the front. So that's one method of doing the uh, color isolation. And, and now I'm about to show you another way to do it. All right. So we're going to open up another picture, which is of a purple flower. Okay. And so this way is using a thing to, like, get the color. So you make the duplicate file just like the other one. And this time we use the top layer, the bottom layer, instead of the top layer. So we select all of it, and we make it just like the other one, which is desaturate. And this time we go to the top one, and we use this thing called color range. And so what we do is we soak up the color that's best fit. And we put it in white mate, white, I don't know, white something. And so that it absorbs that color and the grayscale for the mask and uses nothing else. Okay? And so now what we do is we overlay it with that little button at the bottom that I'm clicking at. I'll zoom in. And so there we have it. It picks that color only and it uses it. And so what we do now is we do the same thing that we did before. We use the eraser tool to erase the other part that we don't want in the picture. And so there you go. There's the color isolation for this, for the color range. And you can add more effects like hue and saturation to change the color of it. Which makes it pretty nice and saturated to make it more bright and more like in there. And so, yeah, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's kind of like the Adobe After Effects one, except in Photoshop. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, peace out. Yes, it did.